So today I'm doing an extreme version of uploading listings, which is just uploading 100 listings within one day. I was watching my friend Cassie Johnson. I watched her video about creating 100 designs and it got me thinking. I wanted to create a challenge based on this concept. One thing that has always been a high correlation in my growth on Etsy is uploading a lot of listings over a short period of time. Before we start this video, I do want to acknowledge a few things that if you are trying to follow this challenge and be as crazy as I am in this moment in creating 100 listings, there are some things that you should know. First of all, I am a YouTuber and I am doing this for the fun of YouTube and creating a video. Second of all, Etsy does have their automated system that does flag and suspend stores that upload high volumes of listings in a short period of time. The third thing to know is this does lead to burnout. I am not going to sit here here and tell you that this is going to be a fun experience you will see throughout the next few hours. I may not be having fun. I hope I still am though, but it does cause burnout to do so many listings at one time. That's why you may have seen my 21 day listing challenge in my shop launch diaries. That is why I run that type of 21 day listing challenge is because if you do things at a slower pace and a consistent rate of uploading listings over time, generally you won't get to that threshold of feeling burnt out and just completely giving up on this concept of starting a business. With that being said, we're gonna hop straight into this video. Wish me luck guys. Okay guys, there are a few things that I'm going to be using as resources and tools today. One of those being it's simple and free Google Sheets. This is one of my favorite things, especially when I am starting to create listings, especially in a high volume and a lot of listings in one day like we are doing now. I'm already regretting this because I'm thinking this through my head on what I'm going to be doing, what I'm going to be creating. I have no idea yet. I just decided to start this challenge midday through the day. It's currently 12.56. I just thought of this this morning and I was like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. And then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do it today. I'm regretting it already. As far as the tools and resources I'm using, first of all, I'm using Google Sheets. Planning is essential. Please get into the planning phase and era of your lives. That is where I am right now. So first of all, I'm going to plan a lot of what I'm doing in Google Sheets. That is also where I'm going to be copying and pasting a lot of the words that I will be using in designs. Thanks to Cassie Johnson on my screen back there. She showed in her video how she used ChatGPT and copied and pasted by the way, please watch that video as well. Cassie Johnson is a wonderful and amazing source of knowledge and wealth of knowledge. I love her so much. I love her channel so much. She's a beautiful human all around. I could go on and on and on and write a list of all the things, but I'm gonna stop here because I am a huge fan. The second thing I'm going to be using is ChatGPT or Canva Magic Write. I have not decided what I'm going to use yet. There are so many different AI softwares that you can use. People are gonna say, you have to do this one thing this one way but there are multiple ways to do things and that's why me and Cassie Johnson we have such a great friendship because we understand this concept that there can be multiple ways to do things and achieve success in your Etsy and print on demand businesses there's also multiple ways to bulk edit and upload listings today I'm going to be showing some of my methods that may be a little bit different than Cassie's but as far as mock-ups go and creating mock-ups I am going to be using in Canva as well for those mock-ups. Honestly, this video came without any planning, guys. I just got really inspired by watching my friend's video and I was like, you know what? It'd be cool to watch a challenge on YouTube on how someone's creating 100 listings. And it uses the same methods of creating 100 designs that are available with the Canva software. This video is not sponsored by Canva, by the way. I am an affiliate. If you sign up underneath in the links in the description, you are supporting me as a creator on YouTube. Thank you to those who have signed up and supported me and subscribed and liked this video and this channel. I really do appreciate every one of you who have done so and also supported Cassie's channel as well. So without further ado, we are going to get into this because it is going to probably take me hours. I'm already pre-stressing this idea. I'm just going to do it. 
gonna do it. So to start this challenge out, I did want to first of all show my current stats and how many listings just so people don't think I'm making this up by any means. I'm actually doing this challenge. I'm not just doing it for a YouTube video. I'm doing this for my shop because my goal was by June or July to have 300 listings. I'm going on a very long vacation next month and I know it's just not going to happen. So if I can get to 100 listings by the end of today, my shop will be close to 300 listings in total. Anyways, let me show you guys. As we can see, this is my shop. And as far as listings, I have 197 listings in my shop. So currently, for so far, hint, hint to anyone watching my 21 day listing challenge that's not fully uploaded yet, but I am at currently $1,215 in revenue and 52 orders. Again, active listings, 197. I started this shop in May, so it's doing fairly well so far. So to start off, I have my Google spreadsheet and what I am going to be doing with this is just organizing and looking at my research on Etsy. I'm gonna pull up basically what is really selling on Etsy right now. I'm also going to be going into five specific broad niche areas. So when I'm talking about broad niches, I'm really just talking about what niches are the main categories on Etsy that people are primarily buying in. So an example of this is the wedding niche or bridal niche. And within that are so many sub niches and branches of that main niche. So when we're talking about that, maybe bachelorette party is one sub niche and then a sub niche of that sub niche is maybe Nashville bachelorette party, maybe Atlanta, Georgia bachelorette party or Bahamas honeymoon, something like that is a very sub niche and branch of that main niche, which may be the bridal or wedding niche. So with that being said, that's what I'm looking at doing during this video. So I'm going to select four main branch niches today, and then I am going to create phrases that I can put those specific subcategories and sub niches and branches of that main branch niche today. So that's what I'm doing to quicken my pace and make these listings as fast as humanly possible. So I started at 1 p.m. It's 1.21 p.m. right now. With that being said, I'm still very much trying to protect my new Etsy shop. So I'm not going to be showing everything and every single niche I'm going into today. We're gonna get into it. update guys. I have figured out my four niches I am going into. So right now I am just finding those sub niches that I know have sold in the past through data I'm pulling through Everbee. I'm also using ChatGPT to just give me a list as well. And I really want to do 25 different sub niches and words that I can basically swap into phrases for these niches I'm going into. I don't know what products I'm creating yet. I have a good idea. I may go into home decor. I definitely want to do mugs because mugs are really easy to create a phrase, just a basic text design phrase, and that will comprise my 100 listings. So with that being said, it's kind of just finding a phrase that just sticks and it's a funny phrase or maybe just a good phrase for that category and niche that I'm going into. So that is my next thing is here we're going to go to chat GPT and I'm going to create some lists like in Cassie's video about how to create 100 t-shirts. She gives a prompt to chat GPT. So that's essentially what I'm going to do now and get that list that I can swap in those phrases and words to create my 100 designs today. Okay, so update. What I have done on my computer is I have basically made four different Google Sheets that are going to be where I'm going to put one phrase or maybe two phrases, maybe three, depending on what makes sense for these specific sub niches and branches of those main niches I was talking about earlier. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do this in four separate lists. So I have one for each main branch niche and then then I'm going to put in one column the phrase I'm going to select and then in the second column I'm going to put that word swap in and that phrase swap that I will be using as 
that's going to create that bulk amount of designs on Canva. So now what I'm going to do now that I have these lists separated is I'm going to go on ChatGPT and create those lists of the most popular searched terms of these specific niches. Then I'm going to go to Everbee and just see how popular they are just to confirm. Also, I have construction going on. So if you hear like a noise, that's the construction, by the way. Date. We have one Google Sheet done of 25 different phrases and most popular terms and keywords for this specific main branch niche category. Here we go into the second list of what I'm going to upload onto Canva. Update guys, I am 45 minutes into the challenge and I have zero listings, but I am hungry. So <laughs> I am going to have an Uncrustable. I had it in the freezer, so I'm gonna wrap it in towel and defrost it. This is what I found out from working at home is I am the laziest person possible when it comes to making food. So I like Uncrustables because I don't, I don't have to do much. Who likes crust? I mean, am I right? If you like crust, comment down below. I'm gonna have a quick snack and we're gonna get to those 100 listings in just a brief moment here. Uncrustable is acquired. It is really hot. I put it in defrost for 45 seconds and it's like really, really hot. Oh my gosh, literally, what is this video? <laughs> Hi, I'm Heather. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to, to subscribe because the silliness will always be here in this channel. anyone is ever wondering why I have these, these are all strips of comments I printed out in a past giveaway that I asked for people to just comment something in order to win a prize. Some people wrote really nice things and then I have people like Jack, if you're watching, that wrote good. Thanks Jack. <laughs> Sorry. Alrighty guys, so I have officially finalized the phrases and the keywords that I have that are basically just swapping out the different phrases for the Canva bulk editing software and tool. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna create four different designs that I'm going to swap all these keywords and phrases into. Update guys, it is 2.30, about an hour and a half in. I am already mentally exhausted. I am on the 50th design. I've gotten this far, which is great. I realized that when I bulk upload, I still have to edit just a little bit of things once I bulk upload all of the keywords and phrases in that I'm like, okay, well, I uploaded this keyword or this phrase, but it just doesn't look right. So I do have to slightly move certain phrases and keywords. So even though I bulk uploaded everything, I still have to go back in, make sure that it all looks correct before I download everything and then upload to Printify. I'm doing this challenge and I'm on the 70th design, but it's insane. And I definitely feel the mental exhaustion. <laughs> yeah. Just trying to calm down for a moment, I guess, because my brain has went in like hyper mode and now I'm just like, uh, I need to take a second and just like relax. But like, I do want to get this challenge done because I already committed to it. I'm filming it, so. Wow. You're gonna have time between your vacation, Norman? Yeah, I'll, I'll figure out how. <laughs> Uh, okay guys, so I have officially finished over 100 designs. I initially was going to do 100, but from all the ideas that I have from what chat GPT generated and I also added in a few other ideas I had, I now have well over 150 designs, but I'm probably only, of course, I'm only doing 100 for this challenge. I'll do the other designs a different day, but right now I'm focused on the challenge. It's currently 3.12 PM. I'm about two hours into the challenge. It's time to finally upload these to Printify. Now comes just the elbow grease and grinding of just publishing the listings. Hopefully my Wi-Fi speed treats me right and we get all these listings up in the next hour here. So 
first set of 25 listings are done, 75 more listings to go. I am now in my bedroom because I was having a little bit of a headache from lighting. Sometimes when I'm staring at the screen for too long and I'm in my little office space, I get like a weird headache kind of thing. So I like to go into the bedroom where it's a little bit darker. Update guys, one of the designs that I made for a mug and the design is not like as big as I'd like it to be. So I have to fix the bulk design that I created and then I'm gonna upload it to all these mugs. 4.19 p.m., three and a half hours almost into this challenge. Kind of just been messing around to be quite honest. I could have gotten this done much quicker, but I've just been doing other stuff or snacking and kind of procrastinating. I called my mom earlier and talked to my fiance a little bit over the phone. 50 listings are done. I have the tags and titles all finished. What I've been doing, and this is kind of a pro tip that I'm learning through doing this, is I add in the keywords in the beginning of the title. So one example is punny teacher gift. So usually I will add maybe English teacher, math teacher after that, and that's it. And then with Etsy's bulk editing tool in the Etsy seller account, I select all of the products with those probably I'd say five to 10 keywords already added. And then I just add to the end of each title, just saying teacher gift or any other keywords that apply to that title. So it's helping me do all my titles within a few minutes, not even just by doing that alone. And then with the tags, I'm just using all the same tags for the specific niches I'm going into. Chipotle is acquired. I am literally so hungry. All these listings, all the reps, <laughs> repetitions of making these listings has mentally exhausted me and I'm very hungry. And I feel like after today, I'm gonna need a self-care day. That's for sure. Okay, so I officially ate my dinner and now I am just doing these last four listings. I'm going to push them to my Etsy shop from Printify's backend. Then I'm going to do all of my mock-ups, upload those for the 25 listings I just did. That's about it. So final push here, guys. The time has come. The 100th listing I am going to push through. 100 listings are done. Oh my gosh, that was insane. Uh, they're not really done though. I'm not fully done yet though because I still have to do the mock-up. So I'm going to go into bulk mock-up uploading mode. So I am going to do the 25 listings that I just uploaded. I'm gonna do the SEO, finalize that, finalize the tags, edit all the mock-ups I have done throughout the 100 listings. There's a lot of zoom ins I have to do. So probably I'm gonna be going over every listing individually. So I'm not done yet, but I'm gonna update you guys in a little bit here. Okay guys, so I have officially finished all the mock-up images and uploaded them, but ultimately I'm pretty much done with the challenge. So I'm just gonna do some quick cleanup for the next 10 minutes. Also to say, I have a massive headache at the end of the night and it's usually like, it's in my shoulder. I realize when I'm sitting, my posture is bad. My shoulder's kind of like up. I don't know, like I, I strain my shoulder while I work in my neck. That's what 100 listings does to you guys. It is officially the end of the challenge. To wrap up the challenge, I started with 197 listings and by the end of the challenge, I finished with 298 listings. So when I said earlier that I got 100 listings, I actually did 101 listings. Not trying to be an overachiever, I just wasn't paying attention and I went over by one. With that being said, I started around 1 p.m. I believe it was like around 
12.50 or something. So I just rounded up and said 1 p.m. and I ended around 8.40 p.m. So today the challenge took me seven hours and 40 minutes, but to factor in, I had a few snacks during the day. I had also a headache. Also, I spoke with my mom and my fiance over the phone a couple times during the day that I was not fully invested. So with that being said, I wouldn't recommend doing necessarily a challenge like this all in one day. I think 100 listings is quite a bit and it's going to burn you out. There were portions of when I was doing my listings that I just wanted to stop and I had this very like tight feeling in my chest like why am I doing this to myself? But I will say that it was a really cool feeling and amazing feeling once I hit 100 listings and it just made me feel so accomplished. Even though at the end of this, I still wouldn't recommend doing 100 listings, again, for the reasons why when I started this video, just stating that Etsy can suspend your shop. Honestly, when I got to the 50 listing mark today, I kept looking at my shop and refreshing to make sure I wasn't suspended. So that is a possibility. I don't want Etsy to think I'm a spam bot or a, just a bot on the internet. So besides that, at the very end of this challenge, what I wanted to go over is what I would do differently if I were to do this challenge again. So the first thing that I would do is for mock-up creation, I would be using some type of bulk mock-up creation software. For the purpose of this video, I did not invest in the time in building the skill set to use Adobe, maybe my design or Figma. There are ways to do that. It's over the internet. It's on YouTube. I just personally did not take the time out to build the skill set and build a mock-up generation process that could speed up my workflow by 10x on my mock-ups. If I did that in the first place, then I would have been done with my mock-ups 20 minutes sooner. So I would highly recommend doing that. Again, there is a lot of mock-up generation softwares out there. I did not use any of those today. I was kind of just using Canva and I was doing the sweat equity method of actually placing my designs on every single mock-up. Now, at the very end of this challenge, I wanted to be a little bit silly and I wanted to challenge Cassie Johnson who initially inspired me during this video in taking this 100 listing challenge. I know by doing this, Cassie Johnson, she is a very smart, just all around beautiful human being. I wanna see how she would do this challenge. Thank you, Cassie Johnson, for inspiring this video. I would love to see you take on this challenge as well. I know <laughs> she's gonna hate me for challenging her publicly. That being said, I challenge the people who are already on YouTube too. So I would love this to turn into a challenge on YouTube and some sort of trend. If not, it's fine. I made this video anyways, and I hope this provided a lot of insight on what I would personally do. I will say out of my 101 listings, what I ended up doing is I set out to do four different broad main branch niches. I ended up only doing three of those four and I took those to four different product types within those 101 listings. So I will say that I didn't do what I set out to do because I got carried away with other things and I realized this product and this design and this niche go together. So I want to prioritize that. However, I will say that I heavily used one phrase and I swapped out one keyword in that phrase. So a good portion, I'd say 30 to 40 of my listings have the same exact phrase, just one keyword swapped out. And to be quite honest, I'm not sure if that's going to be a winning design or a winning phrase. So that's something that I would do differently is maybe I would change the phrase every 10 listings because there are elements that you may just tweak in the slightest bit in your listings that end up making it a bestseller. I've had that happen to me in the past. Outside of that, I'm very happy and feeling accomplished with all the listings that I did. Besides that, don't forget to stick around for that blooper reel because you guys know one is coming and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. I'll see you guys in my next video here. That is, uh, oops, I'm blurry. I hope I wasn't blurry that whole time. Here's the problem with being Uncrustables. They just like explode when you eat them. 
Literally, I don't know why I'm recording this. <laughs> maybe this will make it in the video. Maybe it'll get cut off. Fast forward to me actually working here.